evening power pack. We got a lot of Q and A, and, and I like to kind of do some. That was no problem whatsoever. Fox throw. I don't really want to pull my tooth, so I got in my car immediately and left this dentist. And I went to the doctor. Um, this is an extension to make sure their patients are receiving an optimal uh, level of dental care. Patients, yeah, right. But um, just say, what do you think is going on here? Or so we treat patients. We see the profession, uh, as well as you know, talking to for the type of work that I do, and I think the type of work that we all should be doing um, as um, dentists, because we all are dentists, whether we are special, have a root system, and everybody should be endodontist, but I'm very frustrated, and I want to quit, and I do have some endodontist. I want to ensure the highest possible quality of care for my patients. Lack of anesthesia. Lack of anesthesia. Lack of anesthesia. I heard internet. So, Kumar, I'm pretty sure they've probably told some other colleagues that, wow, and that just kind of buzzes out, and I'm able to develop a niche for that. So I'm able to see guys like this guy um, actually helping dentistry from a different aspect and using my influence through them to get out to people like Sean Puffy Combs and P. Diddy. Organizations I'm affiliated with, Ben myself, of course, is one, Good Samaritan Dental Clinic, the Cobb County CAP program for kids, a dentistry from the heart, and also new sale, good news usually don't, right? So, but if all of us collectively, because I know we give a lot of dentistry away, <coughs> who's a hygienist, um, every February we go out to a school and we do oral health month, and this is my six-year-old's teacher. As well. So, I also found a way to give charity dentistry to public. Uh, retreatment strategies and techniques. I apologize about that. So anyway, um, we want to try to, to get, get these things out. Now what, what are some things that cause post-treatment disease? That's exactly right. Paper point. Oh man, that's great. Did you did you see my lecture before or something? Good. Alright, alright. And about 40%, and I thought this was not in retreatment. I mean treatment. No in other words, you're doing a root canal from scratch. Runs about 90 to 90, 90 to 95 percent over. Stan, I guess you're the man. Let's see all these other fun and cool things that we use now. So, do root canals fail? Oh, somebody tell me why, why isn't that line? And this is the best cleaning solution, and you can get caught up in that operative errors, and so on and so forth. So, when should you reach people? So sometimes we have to try to find someone. We do have. Patient every now and again, we can do the endo, they need crown lengthening, they don't want an implant, and we do have to sometimes prognosis is very important. And also all that, and there are some uh, periodontists that spoke to us, and, and prosthodontists that spoke to us, and we saw root anomalies. Um, I use it for This is a case that uh, was sent to me uh, from a general dentist um, about 10 years ago, and it was a tumor up at my time. I even got a little bit of calcium hydroxide out, which is our uh, medicine of choice, used as endodontist. Got it right out to the lesion, I was happy. And look at my results. Two people, all right. It's gonna be a great movie, I love three studies. That advertise, we got dentistry today. Now, dentistry today, I found out by some of my referring doctors, this is their Bible. This is what they live like Dole in 2006, restored endodontic, treated more stringent. How many of you guys have had patients that came in with a lower molar? Stan says a failure. Can, can somebody else, who's, raise your hand, who says a failure? 20 years ago, he told me he had a guy that did it that would. You already answered that in your mind, all right? Don't say it out loud. As a general dentist, okay? You can talk to the person who did, you ask them. So, um, implants are great if a natural tooth can't be salvaged. And like I said before, uh, we talk about survival, um, inadequate obturation, limited access to a crown. This is Mike Austin from, from Global Surgical. So he said, you do this root canal, 
you know, can you help me out? We helped him out. We did the root canal. He brought me this thing. I'm like, to something else. So this is the lead bullet with teeth marks in it. Um, we can kind of see if I can. Okay, so pre-op, post-op, we did a retreatment here. Empty he rips those things off and go right through them very well. Uh, removing obstruction, sometimes you need a tank to take some of this modified version called gutter core. This will be silver point and distal canal, paste in the palatal, gutter perch in the mesovocal, I don't know. But they did that, the sinus tracts here. We did a one visit retreatment, we use MTA to seal perforations. Can someone tell me some other reasons on mode turbinogen? Also Jim, if you don't want the MTA, you can also put it on eBay as well and make you some money. So we got out, I don't know if it was a point or a post, but calcium hydroxide, we put the MTA. Um, again, we got some uh, nice healing. Sealer, who else? What else do you think it is? Do I still go and do surgery based on the way the x-ray looks? Probably not. Um, why? So uh, last case here, tooth number possible. Well, what would you want? Or you can have this. So the choice is always, always yours. So the natural tooth is God's giving you.